It's a nice shirt. Hey, Cora, how you doing? History records. Events make history interesting. Robert Kennedy once said, some people see things that are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. People still remember that quotation because it was interesting. Tonight, I invite you to listen to an interesting story, the story of an adventure with Miss Monica Lewinsky. Miss Lewinsky is now a designer of ladies' handbags. The tricky thing about designing handbags is you need fabric. I took Miss Lewinsky to my hometown of Ottawa, Canada to search for the perfect fabric. What we weren't expecting was the media's feeding frenzy that followed us and devoured our every last word. Perhaps by telling this story, we can all learn from it and ask ourselves, why not? It's a good flight. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, we're uh, we're in Ottawa. Okay. We just landed in Ottawa. I'm here with Monica, and we're looking for fabric. We're gonna find uh, all well, sorts of. Well, you promised me that we'd find the perfect fabric here in Ottawa, Tom. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. I, and I'm gonna fulfill that promise. Uh, I know places because I grew up in the city. Right. I know places where I've seen fabrics before that you would not believe. Fabrics that I think, personally, I think would be perfect for making handbags. Uh, I'm here with uh, this is my friend Monica. I'm Tom, and we were wondering if just for fun, if we could ride on that through and around by sitting on it or lying down on it. No. It's a lot of fun. Huh? Well, this is, uh, I've never done this before. I'd have to say this is uh, pretty interesting in Ottawa. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, there's a little kid there. This is actually probably the first thematic show we've ever done in the history of the show. Really? Yeah, that's this not saying much. This is the first still. time I think I've kind of participated in anything like this. We have a car picking us up or how's it work? I don't know. Oh. You're the one who lives here. You have a light on that thing? We need a light. Is this not a light up here? This He's thing? just a cameraman. That's not a light. He's just a cameraman. He doesn't have to worry about that. Okay, boys. Let's behave. Yeah. No fighting in Ottawa. Oh, well, we don't have a light. We don't have a friggin' light. How are we going to make a TV show if we don't have a light? Can you turn this off here? Leave that on? Yeah, how's that? That sucks. Come on, Matt. Matt, this is embarrassing. Well, this is embarrassing for me, you know? You go on, like, major shows. You've been, look, on there's snow. You've been on Larry Shut King. There's You've snow. been on Barbara Walters. We don't even have a light. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Using a uh, camera's uh, instruction manual to reflect light at us. Look at this. This is our bounce card, the manual to the camera. The guy doesn't even know how the f***ing camera works. Our cameraman, Matt DeMarco. <laughs> let's go get some fabric at Glenn's house. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, do you go... think Glenn will have good fabric? Yeah, like his, okay. his bed sheets or something. Or it's oh. some of his undies. Some of his undies. No, no, some no, of no, his... no. Glenn Humplick, by the way, if you're a first-time viewer, is my uh, jolly sidekick. Oh, God! What? <laughs> I farted. Oh, did Matt just fart? Leave it to the vegetarian. Oh, oh God. Glenn, there's Glenn. Good shot. Run. Let's go here. Hi. How you doing, man? Hi. Good, good. good. What's, What's the on, new man? leather jacket? I know. Um, oh, my God. Hollywood Humplick. No, no, no. I bought... Uh, it's nice. Like, let's get in your house. Let's oh, no, you're not going in. No, no, no. Come on. Five minutes, for no, sake. No, we no. just flew across the continent. You're not going in there. Why? House. Huh? Why? Like Maybe that. Glenn's got something in there he doesn't want you to see, Tom. Too bad, no house. Monica's here. She's all pissed off. She's freezing. We just let her take a. Well, let you Monica, go. I'll bring her. Bring Monica. She can let go, her go pee. I'll bring her in. Bring her in. Let her go to the bathroom. But you're not coming in. Mo Monica, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm all so right. sorry. Okay, take Monica in to go to the bathroom. We'll wait here then. I'll wait out here in the cold. Get yes. some fabric in the house. Yes, sir. It's all about fabric. A substantial Down. piece. It has to be at least one meter by one meter. Okay. Okay. Like a towel or something. I think Matt. Okay. Matt, did you fart again? God, did you fart? It stinks, man. Seriously, man, we're getting a new camera guy. I, I swear to God, we're getting a new camera guy. God! I know! Can you hurry up? That's insane! <laughs> Just get some fabric, that's all.
boyfriend's crazy. Get a shot of the idiot. Don't do not in the house. Glenn just shoved me down a flight of stairs. It's all, it's all friggin' Scarlett O'Hara. He was crushing Monica Lewinsky in the door. Glenn friggin' Hollywood Humplick. You know, he doesn't care about people. Don't shove yeah. me. Don't shove me down the stairs again. Well, Are you okay? At least, at least apologize. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I pushed you, but you Are know. You okay, dude. There we go. This is what Glenn gave. I don't even want to talk to him. He crushed his Monica Lewinsky in his door. It's fine. <laughs> I apologize for crushing you against the door because he barged in. I'm sorry. Do you accept the apology? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Now apologize to Tom. Okay? No. Whitney Houston lets people do tours of her home. Why does not Glenn Humplick? I don't give a sh what Whitney Houston does. All right, see you, man. See you, man. Thanks. He sh I was I was trying to cram through his door. He nearly crushed Monica in the door like crazy. <laughs> it was it's really a Hungarian. About this. It was like. Ah! Yeah. What no. do you think of this? How's this for a fabric for Ottawa? Uh. Hmm. Not good. Better come up with something better, Green. Hello. Phil? Yo. It's Tom. Tom? Yeah, Tom Green, your friend. He sounds like a movie phone. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Well, he just doesn't understand why the hell we're here. Glenn throws me down a Hi. Hi. Hilarious. Holy Hilarious. How you doing, man? How are you doing? Holy totally, uh, My place is totally messy. Oh, I wasn't expecting you. How are you doing, Monica? Hi, Hi Phil. Phil. What, the, what, are you, what kind of animal are you living like? Even I don't live like this, and I'm a mess. Look at this. <laughs> Is this your light? This is, uh, is this where you keep your light? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yeah, is it nice, right? Yeah, but I know, I, that's I really... I just got it. Like, I just Thanks, got man. Just, I just got it. Oh, thanks, Phil. Like, I, ju I just got it. Like, yeah. that's all I have to sleep with. We're gonna make a bag out of it. Hmm. This would be great fabric. This is good for a handbag? That would be really cute. Phil, don't be a freak. Look, I've had this for years. Don't, what are you doing? Monica flew up here. You know, like to, for this, for this, and you're not giving it to us. What kind of what are you turning into? What? I didn't know. What are you turning into, man? <laughs> you turning into an adult or something? I love that futon cover, and uh. So we'll get you. Oh, wow. Hey. Wow. Here's sweetheart. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Phil. Wow. Here's the pillow. I don't. Oh, want wicked. To okay. All right. There you go. Bye, Phil. Bye, bye. No more couch. Hmm. Oh well. You still have a futon. Yeah. Sky, a I'm going to bed soon anyway. Just. Dad? 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 Uh, we we need some fabric. We need the fabric. Okay. Oh. Welcome to the future with an all new ten spot. Tomorrow. Where did the bag idea come from? Well, it actually was sort of connected to the knitting because I started knitting in 98 and I needed a bag to carry my yarn and the right. one I wanted was too expensive. I sewed a patch on a pair of jeans once when I was in high school. Yeah. But, uh, and, and it, it fell off. Hmm. I want to make sure that we remember that we're looking for fabric. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not necessarily the one who's going to be able to say this is a great piece of fabric, but I'm going to be able to say this is fabric. Okay. I'm going to be able to take you to places where fabric exists. <laughs> This is my parents' house, okay? We're gonna go in, and we're gonna wake them up in their beds, and we're gonna get the perfect fabric, okay, Monica? Okay. 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 It should be really quiet. Mom? Dad? 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 Uh, we, we need some fabric. We need the fabric, okay? Oh, oh. Hi, hi. Hey, Monica, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mom? <laughs> Hi. 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 Yeah, we need this we need this fabric actually. Tom told me that this is a perfect fabric. <laughs> yeah. And um so I hope you don't mind. Oh, these are these are perfect colors for fall. Look, my mom made this. <laughs> oh, you made yeah. this? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. My mom made this. Yeah. Oh, that is that cool. Makes a break. Yeah. You just help yourself. <laughs> You're so generous. Mom, mom, why are you covering your head up? <laughs> it, this is not. It's like it's all not without my daughter and. <laughs> you know? Come on. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna make a handbag out of the rug. Rugs, not drugs. Oh God. Whoa, boy. Where's mom? Mom, are you locking yourself in the washroom again? Oh, mom. Mom. Again. You got it. Watch yeah, you don't, I don't slip. Slip. Don't slip here. This is great. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of what I was 
This is actually better than what I was hoping for, Tom. Really? So it's going to be fun to cut it up and make a handbag out of it. Mm-hmm. Did you like my parents, or did you think they were stupid losers? No, I like them a lot. You thought they were stupid losers? No, I yeah, didn't. I can, tell. I can tell by the look on your face you thought they were losers. Nuh-uh, that's not a very nice thing to say, Tom. I like them. They're very sweet. You thought my parents were losers? Nuh-uh. I just want to tell people who are just waking up and are living under a rock. Monica Lewinsky is in town with Tom Green today. Hey, Cupid struck Tom Green and Monica Lewinsky, the Joker and the presidential paramour in love. A cup of coffee is going to be good. Donut? Coffee? No donut. So this is a famous, famous donut shop in Canada. I didn't bring my bag, so you're going to treat me to a cup of coffee, Tom? Oh, sure, no problem. This is my friend Monica. Hi. Hi. Which station? Okay. Oh, we're from Banana. Banana X TV. Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> and I'm Monica. And you're watching Banana X. Let's put coffee filters on our head and pretend we're robots, okay? Uh, uh, no, uh, uh... Wait, you show me first, okay? okay. Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers, okay? What? I, 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 you know what I have a hat on, no, we'll I, You know what I'm good. We'll, we'll, good. We'll, 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 now we're twins. You remember Star Wars? Remember Star Wars? Come on. We'll just pretend we're Stormtroopers. Let's go around. Let's go around here. Let's go, let's go over that way. Okay. Maybe there's, someone oh, else there's, there's, there's Luke Skywalker over there, okay? Imagine that's Luke Skywalker over there, and we're the Stormtroopers. we got to go shoot them, okay? Choo, 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 choo. Choo, choo, choo. We're stormtroopers, okay? So you pretend you're Luke Skywalker, okay? And we're the we're the stormtroopers, okay? So you got to shoot back. You got to and, and you and you yell, get down, Luke, get down, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm not yelling anything. Yeah. Get it. Oh, well, we have lightsabers. We have lightsabers. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> this gentleman here was playing the role of Luke, and this 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 woman here was playing the role of Han Solo. You gonna leave now? Our coffee ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, our coffee's ready. You're, you're kicking us out, or? Really? Thank you. Just got kicked out of a donut shop. I've never been kicked out of anywhere before. Yeah. So what wow. happens when you hang out with us? Clearly, this is a situation where I should have let my mother order first. I'm so stupid! Oh, I'm so stupid! with MTV.com the possibility that ends at MTV Week every day at 4.30 after TRL beginning Monday, March 6th. Into the zone. In the zone. On the next sunset. So this is uh, uh, the, the public access station where uh, we started the show. Hey there. How you doing? Hey. Uh, actually, I can't tell you why we're here. Uh, I don't want to tell them about the fabric yet. Okay. The you, wedding you, was you, that? Uh, you didn't hear it. Oh, <laughs> No. no ring on this finger. <laughs> not no, yet. Not, not yet. with him. What? What's the problem? I think well, I'm not your type. Secret. Probably you is more, you know. Are you guys on live right now? Or? Yes, oh, okay. Sorry. Hi, Tom. Hi, Monica. Thanks well, for joining us today. I really appreciate, uh, and Monica really appreciates the opportunity to come on the show today, mm -hmm. but we can't really talk about why we're here. I mean, I know a lot of people are probably wondering why is Monica Lewinsky in Ottawa mm -hmm. with Tom. We can't really answer that question today. Okay. And I know you may want to ask that question. Yes. You may have the urge to ask that that's question. That's out of bounds? We won't be able to answer that question okay. today. We're going to answer that question tomorrow at okay. the Petit Castor restaurant on MacArthur. And uh, we'll small, be able to answer that question. Small tomorrow. Beaver? Yeah, the Little okay. Beaver restaurant. The Little Beaver yeah. restaurant? Okay. Yeah. Monica, has Tom showed you a good time since you've been here? Is this your first visit to Ottawa? We can't answer questions like that. Okay. Basically, what we're here to talk about today True. is how we can't talk about True. what we're here to yeah. talk about. The speculation was that you might be getting married, <laughs> and I think... Yeah, that's probably... Is that... <laughs> True. 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 
we can't answer anything you until answer tomorrow. At noon, at noon tomorrow, yeah. we will be able to discuss oh whatever is going on. Okay. Am I dreaming? Am I telling this is a dream? No. You can show this to your kids, okay? Trust me. But wait till they're at least oh, 21. Oh, too? What's that? No. Am I pregnant too? I'm not, I don't know. Are you? I don't just... Are you? Can, you? can we talk about that? I don't think so, can we? Imagine a little Tom Green. No, 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 that was a joke, that was a joke, no. live TV joke, Yeah. bad joke. We're going to have to end the interview if there's any more of this, this leading questioning, okay? okay. I apologize, Tomorrow you're correct, the you're correct. Okay. If anything, what we're announcing is that there's no announcement today. Why do they use fake flowers on set? Oh, that's a really good question. Let's we got to go, we have to end the interview, we have to end the, we have to end the interview. Tomorrow. 12 noon, come on down to Le Petit Castor, see Monica and I. Uh, we have an announcement we'd like to make, uh, uh, and we, we hope to see you there. Thank you. Where's the door to get out of here? Right here. Okay, we'll go. We'll go now, quick, okay? All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, sorry. We can't, we can't, we can't talk today. We can't Monica, talk. Monica, what do you got to say? We can't talk about anything no. more now. We can't, go, no cameras. No cameras. Go, 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 run, go, go, go. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, no cameras. No, oh, you're my camera, you're my camera. Okay. So this is my old high school right here. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey there. John, welcome back to Caribou. Thanks, yeah. Talk Could you turn you. the TV camera off, please? Okay. So, you turn the TV camera off. Okay. That's my friend uh, Monica Lewinsky and I'm Tom, and I used to go to this high school. I'm an alumni of, of, of the school here. Are you recording this? What's that? Uh, are you rolling, or? Can we can we record an interview with you? Are you the principal now? No, no, I'm not the principal now. Oh, okay. okay. Are you are you recording this now? Are you rolling, Matt? What's your name? I'm. No, I just fine. I just. You want to visit? Can you turn it off? Oh no, he doesn't want to do it. I'm not interested in the interview. Okay. okay. This is kind of exciting for me to be back at the old stomping grounds. To be honest with you, this. <laughs> Go Cougars! to invite everybody down to Le Petit Castor restaurant on MacArthur Road in Vanier tomorrow. And you guys can cut school. He says you can all cut school. Cougar, 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 cougar. So that was my high school. Oh, well, Monica doesn't so sign stuff. Here, can you send me stuff? Can you send me hand? I'll make a mark on my hand. Monica doesn't sign stuff. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I think we ran over somebody. And before they get here, it's like the Beatles, Tom. Monica Lewinsky in town today with Tom Green for a very special announcement. We have our little theories that they're going to be getting yeah. uh, hitched. The former White House intern attracted a sea of reporters in Ottawa, Canada today. Tomorrow we'll be talking to the media tomorrow, okay? So we're going to go get some lunch? You get Narco. We got to go quick. There's, papa yeah, there's paparazzi showing up the house. We got to go. Do you want to pose for this guy? Give the guy a picture. Look at all these people. If he'll leave, it'll, it'll, it'll if, if he'll leave. leave. He's a nice guy. He's oh, never leave. Oh, oh, okay, Mary. Here we go. Uh, we're going to be at the Little Beaver restaurant tomorrow in MacArthur. Is he still behind us? Yeah. In LA, the press are allowed to follow you. Yeah, I think it's really annoying. Yeah, I see. I told the, you they're liars. The they do this in New York all the time. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna go sort this out. We have a newspaper paparazzi following us. We were just wondering if we could uh, ask you to stop following us now. Yep, sure. Okay. Sure. Thank you yeah, so are much. Are you going to do it? Or? Well, because um, because we gave you a nice picture there, and we sort of I I actually went in the house and had to convince Monica to do it, and yep, it took yep. a lot of my time. We'd really appreciate it if you didn't follow us. Who are you with? I'm with the censor. Oh, are you? Oh, good paper. Do you have a camera with you? No, I don't. Oh, uh, hi. Oh, you don't have a camera. He doesn't have a camera I'm from with the Ottawa Citizen. Cam You'll be here in five minutes. In the rough and tumble world of international celebrity, five minutes can be a lifetime. Oh, no, no. Okay. I thought he promised he wasn't going to follow me. Turn, here. Zip in. Zip it up. God, we are like friggin' secret service in this. They know we're driving around in this car. It's a f***ing sore thumb. I know. Okay, I know where you can find a cab. We're running from... 
got we're running from the oh, okay. up in the back. <laughs> when was the last time you got in a taxi cab crammed into the back seat with uh, an international celebrity? Oh, <laughs> shut up, Tom. <laughs> Who was the girl? Was she with the uh, son or what? Son. Yeah. She was fairly pleasant and polite. What's that mean? Yeah, you think she was hot, Dad? <laughs> yeah, did you... Mom, Dad thought the reporter was hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mom, are you mad at, at Dad? Yeah, really. Dad, why did you say you thought the reporter was hot in front of your wife? Dad? We're going to get a wonderful lunch together. We're going to have a, a wonderful day. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thanks a lot. So what are we going to have to drink? We'll get some champagne. Champagne, 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 champagne. Monica and I want the real stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really? Okay, so then I guess we want to get the uh, $350 bottle of Cristal. No. 19 no. <laughs> Dom oh, Perignon. I'm on this MTV thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? A special occasion? This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. You know, this doesn't happen every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable that we're getting a $350 bottle of champagne to celebrate this? Uh-huh. So we're going to get the, um, the Cristal uh, champagne. Do you have any of that? Yeah. Okay. We can use the expense of champagne as a symbol of how important this occasion is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my God. No. No. You're disturbing other people. I want you guys to see how seriously we're taking this day. Okay. And I want you guys to believe in, in any decisions that we may have made. <laughs> well, what are they? Mr. Green? Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Hi. We just got a $350 bottle of champagne. They're watching us drink oh. our dip. No, but why are you guys watching us eat, drink uh, our champagne? We just want some private time with my family here, okay? <laughs> and she's watching us. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, it tastes good. Oh, yeah. Very good. It kind of tastes like baby duck. Are you ready, Tom, yep. to order? Uh, sure. What, what do you have in Monica? Um, can I have the ravioli without the sauce? I should have let you order first. I'm sorry. I uh, see I've screwed it up again. I, I no, I screwed it up. No, I, I screwed it up. Clearly, clearly this is a situation where I should have let my mother order first. <laughs> I should have said, Mom, order first. And I screwed it all up. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, stop. 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 I'm trying to get uh, have a concussion. Well, I'm sorry to you, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm sorry to you. You're pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> That's better than being pissed on, though, right? Ah! Sweatshops? No. Welcome to the future with an all-new 10 spot. Tomorrow at 10 p.m., catch an all-new true life as we go behind the scenes at the U.S. Comedy Arts Festival and watch the old pros give advice to the newcomers. Please, I'm in a witness protection program. On the next true life. This is the diary of Tommy and Pamela Lee. This is your chance to get past the tabloid bull. This is my show. Cheers, Tom. How'd you like Barbara Walters? I like her. Yeah, I, I, I think like she's her. pretty cool, yeah. Are you taping? You're not taping us, are you? Just paranoid, you know. Yes, <laughs> we've had reporters chasing us. No, Linda Tripp over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that looks oh, beautiful. Wow. Hey, oh, that wow. Looks oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'll bet you guys uh, $20 yes. I can peg off that house with this loaf of bread. Oh, no. Yes, watch. Don't you dare. No. No, we're yes. leaving if you do. No. $20 bet, okay? No. On the no. table. No. If I hit it in three tries, you get the 20 bucks. If I don't hit it, you got to give me 20 Tom, bucks. I, Tom, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm... Okay, we're going, right? Okay, okay Lord okay. Perry. Eat your salmon quickly. Come on the plate. Bye. Uh, Uncle. You're not going to. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Mom, yeah. don't leave. We won't hear the announcement. Mom, don't leave. How about we make a deal? How about you eat your hamburger, and then we'll think about if you could throw the bun after? How's that? Did anyone ever tell you you should be a politician? <laughs> oh, God! No! Where are you 
you're doing this announcement, whatever it is. We have an announcement to make to you today. Yes, so I are can. you getting engaged? I don't want to talk <laughs> about it until we make the announcement. You trying to ruin the dinner? This is the last day we can <laughs> truly <laughs> call her mom. Okay. Might be grandma after that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Tom! Yes, please. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you, actually. I'll have and more. I'm getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make to you today is that there will be an announcement tomorrow at the Little Beaver restaurant. Little We'd like Beaver. you to be there. Can you tell us what the announcement is before? The announcement is that there's an announcement tomorrow. But we should get advance announcement. Listen, tomorrow there's an announcement. Today's announcement is that there's an announcement tomorrow. It's a different announcement. There are two different announcements. Don't you get it? Don't you understand? Can I do anything right? Don't you love me? I brought you out for dinner. I spent $350 on a bottle of champagne. I never do anything right. I never do anything right. Ah! Oh! Oh! I have to live in this town. You can breathe. <laughs> a little beaver. Oh! Oh, stop it. Oh, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I never do anything right. right. It's not good enough for you. It's never good enough. Can't you just leave us alone? Leave us alone. Let's give us our privacy. Give us our privacy. Leave us be. You're scaring my mother. The thing about this is, we're making fun of them. Right, I know. Does anybody have any sunglasses? I do. Oh. Here you go. Oh, all right. Okay. Are you putting on sunglasses? He's Monica. Oh, Monica. Really? It looks more like LL Cool J in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of that, actually. Oh, that, uh, that citizen uh, guy asked me if uh, it's true that you guys were getting married, and I said, no comment. <laughs> because he was funny, Mom? Where'd you guys meet? Mount St. Marie. And I knew right away when I saw those big bazoos. That oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible thing to say. No, no, Mom, 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 Mom that, that's complimentary, Mom. That is complimentary. Dad was trying to be complimentary. I despair. Am I the only sane person in this entire family? <laughs> Enjoying Ottawa? Oh, it's been great. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of like that. <laughs> Is that her or not? Apparently, it's not. How do you do? How do you do, ma'am? How do you Hi. do? Hi. Yeah, really nice to say hello to you. A lot of people actually believe that it's Monica Lewinsky. Yes, a lot of people do. Yeah. Like Myself included. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can't, can't really be, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what would make you think? Well, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> but anyways, welcome here, whatever you're, whatever it is you're doing, it's great. Bye, eh? Oh. Oh. oh, boy. See, I don't really want to throw it back at you, because I'm like, really... You can mess my hair up. 
Sometimes you can get a little piece of dog crap stuck in your snowball, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Does that propel the velocity of it? No, no, you just oh. end up with crap in your face. Look at that. That's me and you. <laughs> oh, that's goofy. Oh, you look cute. Look at you all laughing. How, how are you? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I'm supposed to the girl who's in that car, and I can't remember her name. I didn't sleep with the girl in the car. Yeah, she's all... Hi. Do you remember me? That doesn't mean I slept with her. Yeah, it does. <coughs> does Why it... would she care if you remembered her name? Well, maybe we were friends or something. We didn't necessarily rub our wet genitals against oh, each other. What? Don't say that on tape. No, but I mean... In front of me. Well, you're accusing me of, of, of rubbing no. groins with that person that I've never even met before. Okay, I can accuse you of things, but you can't talk about those things in front of me, okay? Oh, okay. Those are the rules. No, actually, I did have sex with that girl. <laughs> What's her name? Can't remember. <laughs> Was it good? <laughs> uh, I guess oh, not. Jeez, I can't say things like that on tape. <laughs> 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 didn't show up to hear me just talk about fabric. I would like to welcome Monica Lewinsky. Next, on the 10 spot, 11 o'clock, a new undressed. Children's minds, every day. Monica's going to show me how to make a bag using my parents' bedspread. We are so happy to have the bedspread and some of the best fabrics in the world. I can't wait to learn how to make a handbag as well as deliver the final product. You know what? You, you could put... No, but you I can... have one. You Do can... you need a pin? I have one. You can put these pins away. I'm putting the pins away. I'm putting the pins away. I'd like to make a handbag out of my movie for two to three. You sell all of your own bags yourself? We sell way too many bags for me to make each one, but I design okay. all of the bags. And now they're done in sweatshops? No, they're not done in sweatshops. Well, I'm just saying the good thing about a third world country and, and uh, sweatshops is you can get six-year-olds making your bags all day and then, and then you don't have to feed them as much because they're smaller, they have smaller stomachs. Well, we don't do that. There you go. Exactly. Well, I'm making a handbag. Yeah. That's perfect. today to make a special announcement with Tom Green noon at the Little Beaver restaurant in Vanier. The stage was set for Tom Green's latest stunt. Hundreds of high school students, a crush of cameras, everyone eager to hear the news. Only yesterday we were being pursued by the angry media. Today, a little bit calmer and we're now confronting them. Uh, the Little Beaver restaurant has never had this many plugs in their life. At 12 noon, they will make what they're calling a, an historical announcement. I don't know what the hell that means. Well, we've got to go over what, what's going to go on here. Because uh, I'd like a clear plan. 
You're launching the Richard and Mary Jane Green bag. No, I mean, last night we talked about that I was just going to sort of get out of the car at some point and give you the bag. So I just want to know how this is going to happen and when this is happening. And... Okay, I don't actually know any details like that. La plus célèbre extagiaire de la Maison Blanche était en ville. Monica Lewinsky, vous la voyez accompagner un comédien originaire d'Ottawa, Tom Green. Uh, there are uh, certainly a number of interested parties here to see what's happening. Big announcement, historical. Yeah. Can be big. Can be big. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Let's see something going on here. Just hold on. So they're going live, even okay. though we tried to ask them not to. Camera that. Yeah. What's that? There's no one live. Yeah. Yeah, they are. That's what that's that. That's what those things up. are for. Give me a little mini DVD. Where? That's what all those tall satellites up there with the red cables are for. Where? They used to sit outside my house. That's so they can do live feeds. Yeah, well, right. someone go talk to them. We're going to go back to New York in just a second, but first, Monica Lewinsky is making headlines with a surprise appearance north of the border. Thank you all for coming. Mary Humphreys, who once said, there are many familiar fabrics around us, and we are all aware of most of them. For they make up our clothing, plus they make up the interior furnishings at home, as well as in transport and at work. I think if Mary Humphreys had ever taken time to visit the great city of Ottawa, in the great country of Canada, she would have come face to face with a multitude of textiles and fabrics beyond her wildest imaginations. I say to you, Miss Mary Humphreys, Ottawa, Canada will now forever be known as the fabric capital of the universe! We've got the best fabric in the world! I know you all didn't show up at the Little Beaver today to hear me just talk about fabric. A while ago, I met a young lady. A beautiful, charming, sweet young lady. But there was sadness in her heart. So I said to her, why are you sad, Monica Lewinsky? And I'll never forget what she said. She said, Tom, I don't have any fabric. <laughs> what? No fabric? I replied. Not even a little Kevlar? No, she said. Not even a smidgen of mission cloth? No, she said. At this point, I decided to take matters into my own hands. And I said, Monica, up where I'm from, we've got the best damned fabrics in the world, and I'm taking you there! For the past three days and nights, Monica Lewinsky and I have scoured this city looking for the perfect fabric. We searched every nook and cranny of this town. We left no stone unturned. No nook, uncrannied. I know there's a big question on everyone's mind on this historic day with the entire world watching. Did Ottawa, Canada live up to its name for being the fabric capital of the world? Were we able to find this mysterious fabric? To help answer this question, I would like to welcome Monica Lewinsky. to you all 
the Richard and Mary Jane Green handbag. to make the Richard and Mary Jane Green handbag made from the cloth from my parents' bedspread, which we procured two nights ago at four in the morning. Yep. I will be walking up to the front here for a moment and allowing photographers to take pictures of the Richard and Mary Jane Green handbags. answer a few questions if anyone has any and then we have to go yes diane sawyer i miss you in ottawa when are you gonna come do a show for us we're doing a show right now yeah <laughs> we're gonna come do a show right now okay okay miss Lewinsky has to go Comic Tom Green and Monica Lewinsky had the last laugh. They snake hundreds of curious spectators and media for their supposed historic announcement. It was a hoax that hooked everyone. It's my 20 minutes of fame. I'm really happy to, you know, have a handbag named after me. I'm not embarrassed anymore, I don't think. Uh, sometimes I cringe a little bit. Some in the crowd aren't even sure the Monica they met the day before was the real Monica Lewinsky. Is that the case? Or no. You think so? no. Oh, it absolutely is. Okay. We met her. I went for her lunch too yesterday. He's a, yeah, it's Monica. Actually, Monica was a big hit with Tom's dad as well. He said she was a nice person. Good sense of humor. Uh, relaxed. Uh, I, I liked her a lot. <laughs> the Richard and Mary Jane Green, Green handbag. I mean, what kind of announcement is that? And then I gave them all like way too long to take a picture of it. They all just wanted to talk to you yeah. or take a picture of you, and they're all. Oh, we got like freaking Secret Service guys behind us blocking traffic. See that? Oh, man. Good job. It's funny. <laughs> You're saying you had a good time just because we're on TV, but really you kind of didn't have fun. No, I had a lot of fun. I didn't like all the media, but I had a lot of fun. Okay, good. 